the Bostonian is Matt Peralt. This is our f- city. The book is Dave Sherapan. Pay him. Pay that man his money. Together, they are the Bostonian versus the book. You covered. You covered. Well, I covered. Follow the show on Twitter at Boston versus the book. How do you like them, Matt? Bringing you the best insight on sports betting news, Matt and Dave's daily picks, and an entertaining and unfiltered dive into the sports betting industry. Here's Dave Sherapan and Matt Peralt. And here we go. And away we go on a Juice Reel Thursday, our second takeover from our friends at Juice Reel. It is the Bostonian versus the book, Dave Sherapan, Matt Peralt. We are live on YouTube at Boston versus the book. We're live on X, same handle, at Boston versus the book. You guys watch us in Sirius or listen to us in Sirius XM, Channel 159, and you watch us on Sports Grid on the replay. We got a lot of things to get to. Dave is sporting. Maybe this might be your best outfit in the history of BVB. Uh, this is unbelievable. What, what you're pulling today, my friend, is sweet. This is this is vintage. I'm talking vintage. Okay, boys and girls. The Wonder Boy, lightning bolt on the sleeve. New York Knights baseball jersey and hat combination, courtesy of a Lids back east. My daughters, big part of the show, big part of my life. Don't quite understand why sometimes daddy has a problem when we go out and about and look around for items that maybe people don't see. Just like when you go around to the books to see a guy about a thing. You may be able to see some prices, some different items that maybe everyone's discarding, looking away from and going, yeah, that's a good price. The natural. Tell them, Conowitzki. That's what it is. I figured out how to get dressed up for, we got our guy Ricky Gold coming on from Juice yep. Reel. That's going to be good. We'll tell you guys about that. While you're here, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Do all of those things. The subscribers are inching up daily. We appreciate that. Follow the show on Twitter at symbol boston versus the book same as the youtube as well as p roll what's the discord well the best way a couple different things now the bvb is our right. website okay you want to go there you can get to the discord channel direct link from there easiest way to do that is to go to the bvb show.com website link directly and you can leave us a message and we got a message last night dave i don't know if you checked your email or not but i'm going to read it it's my favorite thing about today I I can't even I don't know how to tease it properly. It was so moving. I got it. I was up really late last night and I don't know. I couldn't sleep. So I was up and I ended up reading it and I was like, oh my goodness gracious. Like it was such a touching, unbelievable note from one brigade member that got a scare with a loved one and got good news, but wanted to kind of reach out to us and explain we were able to keep his mind off of it for a couple of days as he was waiting on the results to come back got the results back and away we go. So I'll read it, but yeah, that's the easiest way to get to the, the discord channel and in the discord channel. If you guys go there, if you haven't joined it, please do. It's a great way of staying in touch with the show and other yes. community members. We were trying to build that community up. It's all free. You can get a direct link to juice reel. So if you want to download the app and you're like, I don't know where to find it in the app store. There are different places on the discord. One BVB chat is the simplest way. There is right. a direct link and it's also under sponsors of the BVB thread you can go and click on that as well get a direct link go straight to juice reel and download the application on either android or apple and you guys can do that we'll have a conversation coming up because somebody asked a question about arbing and how to make money betting and where do you find an app that has every sports book with the same market in one screen juice reel's got that we found the guy <laughs> juice reel's got that so we you have every, every every book in the world they got it all listed so you can see the different prices, not two or three, not six, not seven, no, all of them. I mean, straight up on your iPhone, you can see every market on Juice Reel. So it's pretty cool. So we got Ricky uh, Ricky Gold coming up here in about five minutes to come on I didn't on see the email, so you'll have to send it to me because I, I was out late last night. I did. All right, I, I, okay. I send every. I send every. You look at nothing. I send you everything. So that the story of our life is I send you everything and you look at nothing. So like, <laughs> this, this, is, is, this is true. This is part of, I, I don't look at it until you tell me to look at it. Right. <laughs> I'm out last night, have a dinner, 
down at this Piero's place, old school Italian place. If you guys are ever in town, oh, yeah. you should make it a visit. It's outstanding. And um, I got some meatballs. And there was a problem with getting the meatballs delivered to the table by the bar. What's wrong with meatballs? It's they're the good. Week. It was yeah. a great choice of they're appetizer. Very good. Yes, they're very good. And friend of the show, Mitch, was there. What's Mitch up? might be watching right now. Mitch, Hi, Mitch. had to leave. Well, wait, were the meatballs the any meatballs? good? What's the meatballs that? good? Huh. I mean, what are the kids doing now? Chef's kiss? All that stuff? <laughs> yeah. Woo! Mitch. All right. The meatballs were delicious. Ooh. And, you know, I owe you I owe you a set of meatballs because he, he <laughs> got set. stiffed on the meatballs. Yeah. A set? <laughs> I mean, just leave it at that. That's all. Will's watching the show. Will's keeping us in check. Thank goodness. Okay. We're, we're, we're doing the show. This is what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. pe people. I, I read a poll yesterday about, do you like it when shows swear? Okay. Four different options. 94% of the over 300 people that voted all in some form or fashion like swearing. Only 6% didn't like it. 94 to 6? 94%. So it's I a think big number, P. Rolt. It's a big number. Trying to get 9 out of 10 people in this country to agree on anything is hard. But our audience, at least, or my Twitter following, at least, they are comfortable with a curse word or two slipping out and being said. Keeps the boys on their toes back east. It keeps Will on his toes. Thank you, Will, for keeping an eye on us. It's authentic. It's real. It's speak how you speak. I swear. I, I don't know. I think I swear I'm in now more. Because when I was doing radio, I had FCC rules on me constantly. So I never wanted to say anything. Yeah. But I swear with my class more than they do. Like, when I'm teaching at UNLV, like, I swear all the time. I tell them, like, talk the way, talk the way you want to talk. Like, don't worry about it. Don't censor yourself. If you want to say a swear word, say a swear word. So don't use it for anything. Like, use it properly. A good curse word can really accentuate a conversation, can highlight what you're trying, the point you're trying to make. I love when you start to get going and you start using the hands. Yeah, well, I get my Italian going. Once I know. I love Once I get my Italian going, I start getting mad. And because I, I do firmly believe, and like, you know, we were having conversations a couple of days ago about this, about like, I, I said, like, you know, Pat McAfee is making ESPN. They're like, well, you know, ESPN doesn't really like, I'm like, you know what? That's not really the point. The point is that Pat got ESPN to allow swearing. ESPN's got swearing. <laughs> okay. If you had told me as a 47 year old, if you had told me as a 37 year old that I was going to turn on ESPN and I was going to hear the word asshole screamed loudly into the microphone, I would be like, what are you talking about? Like how in the world? There's no way this is actually <laughs> happening. How is this happening? Well, give credit to McAfee. Said, hey, you want my show? You get my show. I won't drop f bombs, but I'll say everything else. You can't tell us anything else. Yep, it's. Uh, I mean, you know, we do a lot of other shows. So that we have those restrictions, and we don't swear. Yes, but again, this is our show. We keep it real, Juice Real, sponsored today, Thursday. Brought to you by Juice Real, whatever you want to call it. We might drop one every once in a while. And I'm not talking about meatballs. I'm talking <laughs> about something else. So yesterday we were talking about smooth insertions. Well, were you ever? Hey, the chat was lit up. They loved it. The people love real. Can you better the, 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 the Ocho? It's ESPN swear. <laughs> Channel ESPN swear. <laughs> Addison is unbelievable. Whatever's Addison's doing, you just keep. We know what he's Addison. doing. It's it's almost four twenty, right? Four twenty's in two days. We know what Addison's doing. <laughs> He's the he he's the most elevated member of the brigade always. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, up in the sky. Yep. Yeah. How's the That's view good. up there, my friend? How you feeling? Where are you going? So, uh, we got a lot to get to. We got a lot of basketball to talk about. We've got a lot of. We're gonna look at market today, guys. We're gonna look at the NBA playoffs. We look at the NHL playoffs. There's a tweet that was put out last night that I thought was pretty interesting because somebody in the space said there's only four ways to make money betting sports, and he listed all four ways. So I want to get Dave's take on that as to how he thinks. You know that tweet was dated over a year ago, right? That's fine. He brought That's it back good. last night. But he brought it back last night. I I know. I saw it this morning from you, and I was like, yeah, he, oh, he reconstituted okay. it, and I thought, okay, this is an interesting idea to kind of get into on on a day like this, whether or not that's real or not that the four different ways to make money because none of them are straight bets. 
<laughs> so they're, they're, they're all different ways of attacking the market. So we'll see if you agree or disagree with how that will go. Uh, and then we'll get into most of the games in baseball being played right now. So like it's Two day nothing. baseball. The Rays lead the Angels, top of the six, seven four. Texas is leading Detroit. What inning is that? Fourth. Jeez. And 11 runs. Cleveland just went ahead of Boston 2 1 in the fourth. Keep that game under nine and a half, please. Well, how under. about the game last night in Boston? Under two hours, one hour and 49 minutes. Mish, our guy, big man Mish, just texted me and said, please mention that because that's one of the fastest baseball games that I can remember. This is stuff is flying by. How were how were beer sales? How were Fenway Frank sales in an hour and forty five minutes? Period. Bad. No, I mean th that's the only loser. Everybody else wins. I mean, I don't know how. If you're a broadcaster, you're just ripping through your ads, and it's like no no game time. This is all ads. It's like it's like a, a, an ad broadcast because you have to get all the ads in, and there's not a lot of action. But I mean, if the guy gets the ball and whips it and throws it and bang 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 three outs back in the dugout, if both pitchers are doing that, they're throwing six seven pitches an inning. We're good to go. Move on. Whips it. Yeah, whips it out. <laughs> now, see, now the show could start. You're talking about whipping it out. We're talking about meatballs. We're talking yes. about baseball, bro. Okay. It is a Juice Reel Thursday. It is time to bring on our guy, Ricky Gold, from Juice Reel. He's joining us here on the Bostonian versus the book. What is up, Ricky? Good to see you again. Welcome back to the show. How you guys doing? Thanks for having me back on. Huh? Bring me on right if you talk about whipping it out. <laughs> <laughs> can you play the guitar, <laughs> Ricky? Can you play the guitar? It's, it, it, can it's, I play the guitar? No, yes. I cannot play the guitar. So you have my a guitar can, on the wall. My girlfriend can play the guitar. Okay, oh, it, it, it's I, not I thought it was a trick show. for the girls. I thought it was a trick that, like, when you bring a girl back to your place and she's like, "Oh, you play the guitar? Yeah, but not right now." That's how I got her. That's yeah. how I got her. <laughs> Is she watching the show, Ricky? I mean, we got to make sure we got all the clearance for all this before we start. Yeah, bring back on whipping it out. There we go. It used to be a show. You're too young. There used to be a show called Opie and Anthony. It did a thing called Whip It Out Wednesday where they would go ahead and they would eventually have women expose themselves to truck drivers. And if they had wow on their side of the window, W-O-W, that was the signal to go ahead and flash said truck drivers. Oh, Opie wow. and Anthony became very big. <laughs> It was a very non FCC compliant thing, but they went to Sirius XM following Howard Stern and they kept on going. So we're yeah. never getting off late. Night never the record. Ask never. Ricky a question. P roll, please. <laughs> okay. For those people who didn't see you last week, what is juice real? What do you guys do? So the juice Reel's really got one goal and it's to help sports betters by using data and technology. We really just want to give sports bettors the best chance they have to win, and we want them to have fun while they're doing it. And that's that's what Juice Reel does. And we, you know, use data and technology in a lot of creative ways to to kind of achieve that. So this is the first that we talked about last week, which is basically tracking your bets. Right, that this is what you see on the right hand side of the screen when you're going to go ahead and go into Juice Reel. That's what your phone will look like with the app, right? Yep, that is what your phone will look like if you've made some good bets. And after you, so one of the things, the first thing you'll do uh, most likely when you download Juice Reel is connect in your betting accounts. So you can connect in your DraftKings, you can connect in your FanDuel, your BetMGM, your your bookie account, your Bovada, wherever you're betting, connect in your account and all of your betting history loads into our app and that's how you'll see analytics on yourself like that you know how you're doing on straight bets versus parlays and teasers your best teams your worst teams what it's you'll historic, see right it's historic data right Co correct and we also do your open bets will load in so we'll take in your bet history and we'll also take in your open bets there's a different tab in the app that actually shows you how your bets are doing in in real time as the game's playing out so if you you bet on the bulls all game long, that bet's bouncing up and down in value with every play. You score a basket, it's worth more. You get have a turnover, it's worth less. And it's really updating in pretty much completely real time. So, Ricky, in the notes today, when you you know we talked, um, there was something that really caught my attention. And one of my favorite movies is The Natural, which I'm wearing the outfit. But A Bronx Tale, there was a character in there named Mush. All right, the mush. There's something 
in Juice Reel that I want you to explain. It says sharp mush, and it's a metric, and it works to, you know, do something. I'm not going to say it. I'm going to allow you to tell the people exactly what is this thing, because anything that says mush is appealing. <laughs> yeah, and so, so that we invented a metric to assess betting activity. We call it sharp mush because what the metric does is it measures the difference in activity that the sharps are doing compared to what the mush are doing. And for those who haven't seen a Bronx tale, sharps, sharps are good bettors. Mush are people who historically lose their bets. And so I see, I can see what's on the, the screen right now. Uh, the eight, uh, an Angels Tampa Bay game, and in that middle section is where we show off the sharp mush. And so, to explain to how this works, this be, going back to what we had just talked about, how everybody's connecting in their betting history, that allows us to do a lot of things to help the whole community. We can see when everyone's connecting in their betting history, Juice Real knows how good of a better you are. If you're really sharp, if you're mediocre, if you're not a good better, and wherever you sit on the spectrum isn't that important. What's important is what we're doing with all of that data. Think about everyone betting on that Angels game. Who, what side of the game is the best performing betters? What side is the Sharps taking? And just as important as what side the Sharps are taking is what side the Mush are taking. And what the sharp mush looks out for and shows is to what extent are the really sharp betters doing something different than the really bad betters. And so if all the smart people are on one side and all the bad people are on the other side, that's a really insightful piece of information to tell you, go follow the sharps. What I love about this, and this is, I think really important because I have said this and Dave and I've spent a lot of time on, on BVB talking about this. The sports books put out their own data as to number of tickets and how much money is on one side. And I've often said, well, at what time did that snapshot get taken? And how long did it take for the snapshot to be taken to the tweet to be designed to then the tweet be sent out and then for you to see it? So you may have gotten that data four hours after the actual snapshot. If I'm seeing this correctly, Every time a bet gets placed, you guys are updating that in real time. So that bet percentage of sharp versus mush square, whatever you want to talk about, that's not something that is static, right? That moves based upon the play. Completely. And, and that's actually what you were just mentioning is the reason uh, is one of the reasons uh, that we came up with this whole concept is when the books are putting out what side of a game the bets are on and what side of the game the money's on. There's a huge flaw and people assume that or all people really had to work with prior to this is if there's a lot of money on one side and not a lot of bets on that side, that's what people consider sharp. But there's a huge flaw in that logic. And if, you know, uh, who's a, a Floyd Mayweather, Michael Driss, uh, if a big better goes and puts a million dollars on a random soccer Dave, game. Dave, Dave Portnoy. Yeah. Dave Portnoy. If Dave, yeah, when Dave Portnoy puts a million bucks on UConn, people, if you're just looking at where the money is compared to where the tickets are, you might, that million dollars is going to skew things to make it seem sharp. But the best barometer for where the sharp bettors are betting is actually seeing what, what historically profitable bettors are betting on. Where are the sharps betting? In, in that's what we're able to achieve for the whole Juice Real community because everybody's pooling in all of this data. And so that's that's good. that goes back to kind of what I was mentioning earlier is our goal is to use data and technology to benefit the whole community of sports bettors using our app. And that, that's one example of how we do that. I've dubbed you Juice Real Ricky. Because everyone I know gets a nickname, and that works. now that you're in the family and in the circle, that works ones. I know that's well. I mean, we can work with it. You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna be here with us and hanging out and doing all this stuff together, we can work on it. But you can't ever give yourself your own nickname. It has True. to kind of happen. No way. No way. You know, because we got a guy in the chat, one star Gorov, 
he saw your guitar. He plays the horns. He thought we, you two were going to start a band. He just went there and said, we could have started our own band. We can't do that. But there's something you mentioned this morning, too, in Juice Reel, where you could actually essentially what start your own handicapping business is this i mean you got to explain this because everybody especially after they have the run they did in the ncaa tournament thinks they want to start their own handicapping business they're filling out llc paperwork this is easy i'm going to do it you can do it right on juice Reel, can you not it, it, absolutely but and we do it a little bit different than the you know one thing that i that i think is just horrible for the sports betting industry and horrible for people in, in general is the extent that you go on Twitter and everybody's selling picture bombarded with ads or bombarded with tweets. Everybody's telling you they're winning 80% of their bets or 60% of their bets and go buy their picks and, and you'll find out how they do. So maybe you'll go on win or not. The it, it's, there's no transparency. And transparency is everything because no, there's no automatic way to make money in sports betting except for arbitrage. Uh, like which, what the pick selling advice industry needs is transparency, authenticity. And we just actually released, yeah, I, I, uh, I can see what on the screen is, we released the ability for anybody to make money by sharing their betting advice and it happens in a completely transparent environment where you're because you're connecting in your data we uh people we show people obviously before they buy their picks how, how you're doing what are you betting on what are the types of things you're betting on so you don't unlock somebody if you don't want to see ufc picks you can you know you can see the types of things people are betting on uh before you buy it and you could see how to the extent of how profitable they are and so now what with our app, anyone who's using our app can set a price for themselves. So some people want to make charge a thousand dollars for their picks. Some people want to charge a dollar. Some people have a Twitter following they just want to engage with by sharing their picks and make a few dollars. And so with our app, you can set a price for yourself that you would charge other people to unlock your picks. People may find you around the app and now you're passively making money as your betting data becomes useful to other people. And, and so, you have to bet, right? The, the, the bet that you'd be selling is a bet that you have placed yourself, correct? Most importantly, yeah, absolutely. So you, what people are unlocking and subscribing to, to other people for is to see what they're actually betting on. Like the stuff that you see on Twitter, those people are just naming games. Like there's no right. guarantee that they're even putting their money where their mouth is, which is something that's always kind of bothered me. Sure. And with 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 this is you're actually unlocking what people have their own real money on and you know if they're a good better or not and if anyone you know watching this right now is you know they're on a hot streak and that's an asset when you're on a hot streak and you just you can't miss and you're you're gonna and you're just in that kind of mindset and that mode that you know most gamblers can't find themselves in right you can now monetize that and share with an audience or just set a price in the app and the audience, our audience will find you. And you can start making money by just making money passively by being a better. Important question real quick. Juice Reel is totally free for the application, right? Yes, completely. Yeah. So the, buying, a, buying the pick is an extra feature if you want to go ahead and do it, but you don't need to do that to use the application. It, 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 exactly. Apps free to download. Connecting in your sports books is free. Seeing the analytics on yourself is free. You can spend money uh, unlocking other people's picks. You can spend money um, and you can spend money seeing what our AI bot picks, which is done. Uh, it's picked about 370 games hitting at 57 percent, which is wow. That's good. I, I'm that's pretty good amazed. Good by it. Wow. Yeah, it's been doing it picks two games a day daily. They get released at all noon. All sports? It doesn't matter all, what sport? All sports. All sports. Picks wow. two games a day. Uh, and if you download the app, you don't even have to pay money. You actually, we auto subscribe you to every feature for free. You don't even put a credit card in. You just start subscribed. It's only nine bucks anyway, but uh, we just really want everybody to to, you know, be enjoying our tools. And if, if they feel like they want to pay for them after 10 days, go for it. If not, there's a lot that's free. Who's 
who's the biggest detractor in your eyes when because you know this business everybody's looking to either take it down say you're full of you know what the blank 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 is it the handicappers that are selling picks and doing it without transparency or is it the sharp community they're going to go well why would i do this and give my edge away and, and, and i'm not i'm not going to do this like which one do you think is going to go like geez what is this juice real thing they're going to dismiss it of those two which one do you think is, is going to be the bigger detractor so the sharp community, the people that are actually talented, love our product. They they use our product because they love the tracking, the tools, and they can also monetize the fact that they're sharp. But it's not like they're giving their edge away because mm -hmm. they can charge for it. And and it's not like the lines are going to move on them because people are only going to see what they're betting on after they've made the bets. The people that don't like our product uh, and what we're doing for the industry are those people who are building businesses for themselves, selling picks that they aren't even taking. Like I met a, I met a 17 year old kid at an event. He's making a hundred thousand bucks a month selling picks. Yeah. It's incredible. And congrats to him. I, I like Shocking. him. He's, he's a great guy. He doesn't, he doesn't bet on sports. He's a marketing genius. He doesn't Fair. bet on sports. He doesn't Fair. even watch sports. He's a, he's a, he's cracked the TikTok algorithm. He's crushed it on Twitter. He's a really nice guy. Um, and he's making a ton of money, but what he's doing is he's just telling people games and either some will stick around because they'll hit some won't. And, you know, it, it's more of a marketing game wow. than anything. And that, well, well, I like him as a human being. Right. It, <laughs> I think it's really bad for the betting industry because there are talented sports bettors and talented sports bettors are getting overshadowed by people who ha are doing marketing gimmicks. Right. Question from from X Twitter uh, from TJ. Ricky, how does your app differentiate between sharp bets and a mush bet? How do you guys do that? So uh, we assess every day on our back end. We actually so because we have betting histories that are constantly evolving every single day, we're actually re ranking every single user in our app based every on a day. Every it takes a lot of processing power. Uh, and it um, we're and it's based on a a bunch of different metrics. It's not like who's making the most money because there are if you're there are some people who are absolutely crushing it, betting five bucks a game. So it's a it's we use uh, we assess a bunch of different metrics to to say these guys are sharp, these guys aren't. Something kind of similar to what some sports books do when they start limiting people, but yeah, yeah, it's like our own algorithm to assess sharpness. Oh, all right. Well, I mean, last one for me, because the, the, the chat's intrigued and, you know, they're going, what is this and how do we do it? And we put the link in the discord. We put the link in the chat. If you're watching the show live, you can go scroll up. The, the link's right in there. Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing this, Ricky? How old is you? Israel? And how I mean, you're in this for the long haul. Like you're going to be here. This is this is a real thing, right? Definitely. I mean, I'm, I, I love, I love this. Uh, it's, uh, I, I started this company in 2019. Um, actually used um, my girlfriend's LinkedIn recruiter, found some <laughs> smart people in the New York area who, who can code specific aspects that we needed to build out, took them out to coffee, said, I have this crazy plan that can I take you to coffee and let's talk about it. Um, and we started building it while, while we all had day jobs. And then, um, we launched the product in 2021. Uh, it looked very different, obviously than it, than it does now. <laughs> it's, uh, pretty bare bones. Um, but we, then we, you know, we've been just growing it ever since right when we launched it in 21, we saw people really loved the concept of automated bet tracking. And then Things started to really take off once we started building in all these tools on top of the the bet tracking. All right, I'll let you go on this. You're a Knicks fan, right? <laughs> yep. The Knicks are are dogs to the Sixers. Pick them now. All right, but well, at open, it was only the second time in the last 25 years that a second seed or a first seed was a dog in the first round of the NBA playoffs. How can that be? Are people underestimating the Knicks? Are they sleeping on it? Do they think it's all Philly and Embiid? Can the Knicks knock out the Sixers? I I think they could knock out the Sixers. Um, you know, I 
haven't seen the Knicks be all that performing in the playoffs uh, or really even exist in the playoffs for most of my life. Um, I, they've got a lot of momentum. The Garden's going to be going crazy. Uh, I'm definitely rooting for them. I, I think they could beat the Sixers. How far can they go after that? We'll, we'll all find out. It's definitely going to be a great matchup uh, in a game. Uh, I think I'll probably at least attend at least one of them. Phenomenal. Nice. Guys, multiple ways of downloading Juice Reel. They're in the chat, there's a direct link. On our YouTube channel, underneath the video, there's a direct link. On X, on Twitter, there's a direct link. You guys go hit on it. You guys can go directly and download Juice Reel all for free. Ricky, thank you. We'll talk to you next week. Best of luck to your Knicks as they start the playoffs. We appreciate your time, and we'll get with you next week, all right? Thanks a lot for having me, guys. That Thanks, is Ricky. Ricky Gold from Juice Reel here on a Juice Reel Thursday. Joining us on the Bostonian versus the book. Good to get Ricky on the show. Juice Reel Ricky. Juice Reel Ricky. Gonna stick. Yeah. It's going to stick. I think so. Juice. For can now. you do JR Ricky? You know, Juice Reel Ricky? Oh, I mean, we could shorten it. Ricky Reel. Real Ricky Reel. Ricky. Oh, I like Ricky Reel. Ricky I like Real. that. Yeah, that's easier. That rolls. Ricky Reel. I like, yeah. I like that. I like Ricky Reel a lot. Right. Oh, Real right. Ricky. We can do Real Ricky too. We can do both. Yeah. I really thought he played in a band. I thought that that was a great idea by Gorov. One star, you know, Gorov on the horns, Ricky just jamming in the back on the guitar. Right. Yeah. You should have asked the girlfriend's name. Next week we got to ask the girlfriend's okay. name. Sometimes, yeah, you got to be careful with that, right? Though it's, it's you, that's you don't true. Want, you don't got to make cry. sure. Well, maybe we'll give her a nickname. Juice Real Ricky's. <laughs> Real Ricky's girlfriend. Her, her main squeeze is his main squeeze. Stop. <laughs> Zip it. Stop. Stop. You said yeah. juice. Is juice worth the squeeze? Easily one of the best movies for dating of all time. Girl next door. What a movie. Oh, great movie. What a movie. Oh. I still <laughs> Elizabeth Cuthbert still is. Where did you just go right now in your head? Her. Where did you just go Her. in your head right now? Well, Elizabeth Cuthbert. <laughs> like that was right to there. That was that's top five. <laughs> top five for me right there. Really? That's oh, I think she's, she's oh my god. Yes. She's like stop list. traffic. There's yes, like everything stop there you go yeah the real ones no the real ones no great movie yeah i i, I agree it's great it's an absolute, oh, so so good yeah. all right speaking of the sixers they held on oh to beat the heat last night they are Woo! the seven seed they win by a point yes i had heat money line should have bet the sixers or the heat plus five instead took the money line took a shot almost got there fell a little bit short jimmy butler gets hurt he has an mcl injury bummer it's going to be weeks not days it's nope. going to be weeks nope. which is really really bad for miami's chances going forward we'll get to the heat the bulls and the hawks in just one second but the sixers just the second favorite over a one or a two seed in the last 25 years of the first round of the nba playoffs mm. it's still i see plus 105 dave yeah it, it's actually varying prices it's all okay. it's all over the place so there's pickums there's plus monies there's there's going to be a lot of um be a lot of discussion, a lot of movement, a lot of uh, opinions. Let's do you do agree this. that Miami's dead? I mean, do, 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 do you agree Miami's dead? <sighs> to win the game against the Bulls or to They're win the favored. series yeah. against the, the, the uh, Celtics? No. See so, you later. No. They're getting oh, it worked. Oh, no. They're getting oh. crushed. Yeah. Hey, it's dead now. I, I mean, I'm, I'm really, I want Miami now. Miami well, without Jimmy? Oh, Miami without Jimmy? It's the abominable snowman after the tooth being pulled. <clears throat> like, it's great. You're just some big oof. Where are that you no right now? <laughs> That's what it's like. Remember the end of the abominable snowman when they got all the, all the gums and he, could, he, was, he wasn't scary anymore and Bumbles bounce? <laughs> That's what they are. The Miami Heat or the Bumbles. They'll bounce. That's it. Heat miser. Give me the, give me the heat. I'm in love with the heat without Jimmy Butler. It's tremendous. Um... Did you see the way that game ended, the Philly game? I did not. I was following it along. I was following it on my phone. Dead under the whole game. Fourth yep. quarter explosion. 105, 101. Miami with the ball. <laughs> Miss a shot. Somehow get a rebound inside. Don't throw it back up to fall 108. Throw it back outside for a three with 0.3 seconds left. To make it 105, 104. The total closed 208 or 207 and a half. The decider for all of it, right <laughs> that, there. That shot. Yeah. I was on with Wetzel and he was sitting there watching the side like this. And, and Cam was talking about his golf picks. 
and Wetzel's face was going like this. He was getting mad. He was getting mad. He was getting mad. And then he went, you're not going to believe this. And I was like, oh, you want to talk about a bad beat? That one hurt. You had it dead on. It was under the whole game. It got as low as 186 and a half. See, when it's game. like that, you've got to try to middle it. I'm sorry. You have to try. You have to. I, I, I do it every time. And people get, oh, you lost because you tried to middle it. Yeah, yeah but I, that I eliminate that situation. where I don't have to worry about that. Right. That okay, I lost point one or I lose a full unit or lose one point one. It's like if I lose point one, then one point one, or I win no. both. Like, it falls in between. Say, I win both you're bets. risking point one to win two. Yeah, I win both bets. Like it's way I I mean, when whenever you have a total, it's like 208, 209, 210, and we're in like the 180s, 188, 189. It, it's just an automatic bet over just to see because it can happen. And look, the books normally aren't 25 points off on a total. So if it's that low and it closed at 208, you don't normally see that big of a discrepancy. So mm. the, the game's going to pick back up just based upon the math. It's going to pick back up. So, yeah. uh, I mean, NBA totals, That's I've done really, really well at the end of the season. NBA totals, betting unders and betting overs, and then watching either a slow start when I'm on an over or a fast start when I'm on an under and just playing around with it and trying to find different ways and different ways of middling it if I can. So... It's just, you know, over 192. Yes. Boys in the chat are doing it right now. They're telling us yeah. what they had. There's J. Dow Betts had over 192 and a half. Thankfully, D. Weezy said he got over 198 live. I mean, it can be done, boys. That's yeah. what we're doing. You, you know, I mean, you got to pay attention. Okay. So I understand that point. You got to watch a game. But I mean, this is just, you laugh because you say I'm turning into a, you know, some of the grizzled. I, I watch games on the app. I don't really watch games on TV. <laughs> watch games on the app. So I'm watching everybody, on my, everybody I'm, does it differently. I'm watching, I'm, I'm watching it on, I'm watching it on my app and I'm like, Oh, numbers that, okay. Bet over. Like when it gets all the way down, I bet under, like, it's right. just, that that's just what I wind up, end up doing. Rainmaker. There's two things I didn't do last night. I, I had not a crazy day, but I had a pretty busy day. I was tired. I was running around. There's two bets. I should have made. I should have bet. I should have hedged on my under 96 and a half points on Tampa. I didn't do it. I just let it ride. And then I should have come back and I should have taken the Sixers when they were down big. You didn't even do the Tampa bet? No, I let it ride. I just, I, I was doing like 15 different things. It was, it was I know, one, but you're never going to win. You said it on the I know, show. I know. I, I, I knew that. I just, it's just one of those things. It just, you get caught. Life got up. I mean, I got a million things going on right now. So just, it's just you a bet. You don't have to that, tell me. Right. So it's it. just a million. And I, was, I was running around and then like the game started. And by the time I looked at the fucking score, it was four to one. Well, it was him first. That's my second swear of the day. Got you won't, won't be my last. Uh, four, so there's, I was four, it was four to one. It was, I was like, I'm dead. Like I was hoping to see it before one the other way. And then, oh. and I could come in on Tampa and take Tampa. I was yeah. furious. I was like, man, alive. Yep. Like, all right, that's it. I was like, just eat it. Like, it's fine. Just take that's the it. L yeah. and move on. And it's, it's, you know, whatever. But yes, I mean, if you're live betting LL, yes, it's easily 60 seconds. In the NBA, it's even more. It's ridiculous how far ahead. Ooh. It can it can happen oh. very quickly on the app. Give the boys and girls something to vote on here, quick series. Who wins? Ooh. Sixers, Knicks. There's no price. It's pick them. Just pick who's going to win the series. Right now, not holding anybody in anything. Just go in there and vote. Again, one of the benefits of watching the show live is that you can do this. When you watch the replay, you cannot. So you look at the vote and you go, "Huh, I should have voted. I should have watched." <laughs> you can't. There you go. Right. Um. What about the other game? Did you watch any of the other game? I watched the first half feeling pretty good about Atlanta. And then I watched the last couple of minutes of the second half. And I went, what the hell happened to Atlanta? <laughs> they got destroyed. Worst team in the league against the spread on the season. Yep. Atlanta Hawks got to the second half. And I mean, it was like the will was over. The fight was done. If it was a fight, it would have been stopped. Right. You know, Chicago moves on. They get to play a one-gamer against the Heat. Wasn't this a similar situation last year? Same thing, right? Where the Heat lost the first game and then won. Oh, yeah, and then went on the run. Yeah, right. And then went on the run all the way to the NBA Finals. Yes. Yeah. But that's not this year. No? Not without Jimmy. No way. You lost Jimmy. I mean, Zion getting hurt and Jimmy Butler getting hurt. Killed, you know, helped me one bet. Hurt me in the other. Jimmy doesn't get hurt. I think the Heat win that game. They beat the Sixers. Jimmy got hurt. Played three quarters and a bum knee with a 
torn, torn MCL. I have no idea how the hell the guy did that. He's an absolute warrior, but he fought through that. But now it's a week. It's weeks, not one week. It's weeks. It's an MCL injury. It's significant. He's not playing basketball in the playoffs. Like, that's it. Mm. Goodbye. Jimmy Butler's dead. He's done. Done. So, you know, goodbye. But Jimmy's done. So the Heat, the are, heat done. are done. I, I, how are the Heat favored? Mm. They're favored at home against Chicago. How bad are the Bulls? If, if, if the books are putting without Jimmy Butler, they're saying that the Heat are going to win. How about we talk to that guy this morning from Chicago? He couldn't even talk. He was so excited. He lost his voice at the game. Like, are they excited? I don't know. Chicago? Chicago, Chicago is going to be my new city, I think. I, I think I'm, I'm starting to come around. I love on, Chicago. On Chicago. I've only been there one time as a tourist. One time. Two, time, two times as work. One time. I was there 48 hours. Yeah, it's going to be a special city for me. 12, 60 hours I was there, and I loved it. Yeah, I But I love the people from Chicago. They've been coming to town forever they have yeah and you know they gamble they drink i i've said this before i was at the cosmo in 2016 right the cubs run oh my at the cosmo was some of the most fun days i ever had because one i love baseball but two they were coming out they had tickets in hand on them to win the world series that they probably been betting their whole life and they were like, we're going to Vegas and we can't go to the games. We'll hang out. October, Vegas is wonderful. So they're out hanging out yes. at the pool, it's come cool. in, it's watch awesome. the Cubs World Series games, fire, drinks, literally crying tears of joy. Oh, yeah. Like when they won. It was oh. just, it was priceless. So I cried out. The Blackhawks won a couple titles while I've been out here. It's it's, it's fun when when they're good. When the Red Sox won the World Series, I first fell down, cried. Then I got up and I literal ran literal tears, little tears. Then I ran outside. Then I jumped on two cars and I started jumped screaming. on cars. Jumped on two cars and started screaming on top of my lungs in Alabama. And a guy said, "If you don't get off my car, I'm calling the cops." <laughs> and I said, "Sorry, sir. Sorry, sorry. My bad." Can you imagine them booking you in Huntsville, Alabama? What'd you do? Red Sox won the World Series. I jumped on a car. Worth it. <laughs> Worth it. Kids, that was don't the listen first, to him right now. The first purchase oh. I ever made online, the first online purchase I ever made was a Red Sox championship hat in 2004. Really? It was the first time I ever put a credit card into a, into a computer and had something mailed. Each hat was $55. Shipping was $20. The hat was $75 to get to Alabama. Woo! In 2004, I bought three. One for me, one for the girlfriend, and one for the girlfriend's mom. Where are those hats today, those other two? It's an awesome conversation. I have no idea. <laughs> I would love to know where that hat is. That would be tremendous <laughs> to find out where that hat is. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she she became, she became this. <laughs> oh, oh that girlfriend is the source of that tattoo gotcha so where okay. her mom is i have no idea yeah yes that's good yes that, that yeah, was... 05 white Sox run was special too atl koosh just said that in the chat dave's daily picks i'm a white Sox fan i cried when the cubs won because of my family that had died without seeing the cubs win that's true yep. that that was an emotional thing for baseball fans like i'm getting i'm not worried about you know, dying yet, but I'm getting to that age where I just want to see one more pirate world series. I'm going to be that guy that, you know, MLB yeah, I feel, I'm such a cocky prick on this because I'm good. Like I'm good. I'm I good. At, I'm good on everything. I'm good on all. I, they, they, they're, I, I'm not, I'm not thirsty for anything. I got it all. I got it all. I got everything. I got everything and more than I ever thought I would have. Everything I, I'm I'm completely and totally in the, the the in the dessert phase of sports fandom. Okay, sports fandom. Okay, I'm just right. I, I I get to sit back and go, if the if the Celtics win the championship this year, I get to hear people like you cry and go again, again. You want again? Yeah, we want again. Yeah, we want we, again. Ay. Bruins win the cup. Yep, again, again. Yep, Patriots are going to be years away. I'm good. I got six. Don't need any more. Yeah. I, I, 
I, I got six. If I see a lot of total up there for the Patriots, and there I is, but if I ever see it, if they never make it back to another Super Bowl, I am entirely comfortable. My daughter's seen three championships. She's too young to remember them, but she's right. been alive for three. Yep. I got six. I got four championships. I was at the 2013 World Series parade. My daughter got conceived the night the Sox won it in 2013. Or wait, yeah, 13. Yeah, 13. So there's all different types of things that go into these things. It's all it, it, it all works, right? It's all tied. Yeah. I have a kid from a championship. That's how yeah. I have my daughter. Yep. So like there's all these things that go into sports fandom for me that yes. I'm good. That's, I'm good. That's good. You're in a good position. Nikki, you can't steal my line. That was my line from yesterday. So much Tried parallel it. between with Robert and Jerry Jones. Yeah, we discussed that, Nick. Yes. Yes. Nick, come on, keep up. <laughs> what did Roger just say? What was I just that? Saw, I just saw a thing on April 9th, people. It's called the day of excess. I kid you not. Rog, are the keys sticking? Are you in the right <laughs> chat? What the hell's going on here, Rog? Come on. I don't know. Nikki missed the show yesterday. Nikki, you got a pass. You, you do. always got a pass. You, you, you got a pass. If you missed the show, go back and watch it. There was a, a Hall yeah. of Fame moment yesterday talking about, um, you know, smooth. Slow. Oh, God. This, the start of the show was unbelievable. Yes. It was it, unbelievable. The start of the show was unbelievable. A lot of heat yesterday. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. How, how is she getting brought into this? What did she Hello? do? What did she do? What? <laughs> how did, how did April my girlfriend? 9th. Oh, that was her birthday. That's her birthday. Hello. Okay. Already. Well, I mean, come on. Give me a little bit of a break on that. I'm, I'm on the air. So April 9th is Amanda's birthday. Yes. Mine's the fourth. Yes. Also JC from KC's, right? It's called a day of excess. Really? That's interesting. Wow. How about Roger Long doing some deep dives <laughs> on these things? Roger wow. is in charge. Rog is in, uh, uh, working in the research department. Roger got a lot of memorabilia and a lot he of does. memories. My goodness oh, gracious. That's what I'm that, saying. That, Look that, at Roger. that thing behind you. That's Roger. That's, that's the whole thing from Roger. an unbelievable Harlem Globetrotter program from Roger. Oh, I got a Larry Roger. Bird program from Roger. Hell he yeah. He brought it here. It's in mint condition. It's from like the 70s. Roger, sorry to do this on the air, but send me a message. Did you? I can't. I have a Larry Bird cutout mm. from 1978. Oh, it was. I framed it in 2008 or nine. I don't know if Roger's the one that sent that to me or did somebody else send that to me from Terre Haute, Indiana? But I got the Terre Haute Times. And I have an actual picture. Of, I, I have this framed with all these different. Um, I have like the last. I, I have tickets from the last season of the Boston Garden. I have tickets for the last season of Yankee Stadium. Um, all framed. But inside this frame, I've got this cutout, this picture, this story from the Terre Haute Times in 1978 with Larry Bird. And I was like, who the hell gave that to me? And I was like, I wonder, did that come on Roger? Like 10 years ago? I was like, I don't know anybody else that would have given that to me. So I don't. If that was you, let me know because I, I I was staring at the last night trying to figure that figure those things out. Okay, NBA, the market. Let's look at these series prices for, for the NBA. These are DraftKings series prices. Yes, sir. Cleveland, Orlando, Orlando's plus one sixty five. Let's go through each one of these here. Mm -hmm. Plus one sixty five. Cavaliers minus one ninety five. Am I wrong to think that we have a very very live dog here when it comes to what's going to happen for Orlando? Absolutely not. Oh, you like Cleveland? No, you, you're not wrong to think oh, okay. that you're a live dog. Okay. This series screams six games, no? Yes. The only thing that catches Orlando is the first time, right? Like uh -huh. just not being experienced, blowing games at the end. Yep. I think they're going to battle them. The point spreads are all going to be close. Um, Both teams can win in each other's building. I think the Magic are definitely live. Yeah, I can't wait to watch that series. I, I think Paulo and company. I think they got a real good the opportunity. To watch the series. This will be the least watched series of oh, all. Oh, I can't wait to watch it. I think it's really cool when somebody gets in that has not been in for a long time. And I think Pantero's got a chance to do some big things in the league. Like I think we spent a lot of time talking about Wemby and what he did, uh -huh. but I think we've kind of we we've been sleeping on what Orlando's got and, and the talent that they've got and the youth that they have. I I'm really I'm really excited to see what's going to happen here. You guys the watching the show that are fans, I want you to put your pick and just type it in. Cavs 4-2, Cavs in 5, Magic in 6, whatever it is. 
type it in the chat so we you know you guys can it may be a seven game series and I, this is where you can take i mean this is one strategy i've done in the past but you can take the dog and then hope for a game seven and you bet the other side you do that yeah it's wait take a lead i mean again if it's a split it's going to go to pick them okay you know they split the first two games it's going to go to pick them very small favorite with cleveland maybe i don't think it'll flip all the way right the advantage of betting it the series by game is like if donovan mitchell gets hurt see ya you're you have a bet on something that's drastically changed like the series prices are great it's all things considered stay equal the fun of doing it is taking not shots but trying to take advance prices there you know if the magic win game one it goes to minus 120 you know so you get way ahead of it that way t wolves and the suns 130 favored the Phoenix Suns over the Timberwolves. Yep. Do you agree with that? Because I do not. Um, what is that? Well, I think initial money. So that's a pick'em series. Yes. Right. That's that's I I think that's a pick'em series. And I'm surprised Phoenix without home court would slide to the favorite, which means it's an automatic. That they're going to go back to Phoenix one one, which I'm surprised by. I think Minnesota is going to be a hard place to play. I mean, in the playoffs, and I think they're everything we've talked to people, both here and on Sports Grid and all these other people that are on social media on Twitter and all these other things. People I talk to in the book keep telling me Minnesota is one of the best defensive metric teams in the league. Right. That travels. That wins. Hundred percent in yeah. the playoffs. So oh, yeah. Especially I think a streaky team like the Suns. Oh, well, they're I, streaky offensively. Phoenix has been a hard place to play in Phoenix, right? Yeah, of course. If they, if this is a homer series, which is what I call the games where the home team wins all the series, all the it's going seven. And that's the price oh, of you're off then. game seven. I don't think so. So, like, that would be off. Like, I, that's the way I would price it out if I was in a room. I'd be like, all right, I'm going to go to this, da, 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 boom, 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 and put it up. So right. the money slid at the Phoenix. I'm surprised by it. We talked about the Sixers and the Knicks. That number is now flipped. It's still this still favor, but they're not plus money at DraftKings or minus 105 at DraftKings. But the, the Nuggets and the Lakers, minus 310. According to this price, Lakers are dead. See you later. One, two, three, Cancun. Do you agree? Oh. I've been making a case against the Lakers for years. This has been kind of fun. <laughs> um, I just checked the price at FanDuel. It's minus 420. Woo! On so, 418. How in the world is are the Lakers? I think to win this series, they're going to have to They're win. way live. Yeah. Lakers are Lakers way, way live. live. Really? Nick? What the? What the? But yeah, I agree, Joseph. Gentlemen sweep. 5-4-1. See ya. Yeah, Those Cancun on three. Go. One, two, three, Cancun. Absolutely. Yes. Lakers are toast. I don't know. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna battle in a couple games. No, oh, I mean they can and they can it. win a game. I'm the biggest Laker fan on the planet. You take out Denver. I got duck boats to go go ride. Let's go. You take out Denver. <laughs> Somebody do me the fucking favor. Take out the nuggets. Oh boy. Now let's oh. go. Take them out. Let's get the duck boats ready. 100%. That's who I'm scared of. If really? you if the Lakers can do that, I hey, LeBron. look at that face. He's so happy he froze. Snap your fingers. Come back. You're on the I next be, rant. Stop. I would be so I would be so ecstatic. You really think it can happen? No. Oh good. Okay. Not even close. Okay. No. This is over. If the Lakers win, I'm going to give you a Laker hat to wear on the show. Okay. Yeah, I'll wear it. Yep. Lakers knock out Denver, 100%. You, you, I, I get that gift. You want to give me that gift of the Lakers taking out the Denver Nuggets? I am ecstatic if yeah. that ends up happening. 100%. Um, I think the Lakers, to win this series, have to win not one but two games in Denver. Oh because my. Denver's going to win a game oh in L.A. Good How the hell are they going to win two games in Denver? 
Yeah, it's over. Clippers and the Mavericks. Oh, boy. Mavs are slight favorites. Our boy Tommy the Lip. You got to be a little nervous about this matchup. This is not a good matchup for the Clippers, in my opinion. I like Dallas to get out of that series. How about you? Yeah, um, you guys said this guy, Double G, Greg Goldie Goldsmith. Uh, is follow me on Twitter. He's a guy in town. Him and his brother have been going around and looping together these championship parlays, and he's the guy that came to the to the live show. All right. Sitting on a new house, a new house, a nice new house, if um, the Clippers would win the NBA championship. So uh, I'm not talking a little townhouse. I'm talking a nice. Can he hedge? Spread. Oh, I'm sure he's hedging now. All he's right, good. But. He's kind of crazy. Like he'll increase the position oh, no. if he really likes it. <laughs> I haven't seen him yet or recently since right. the, the live shows at Resorts World. The, the first one for March Madness, he was there, said hello. Um, I got to get to work on his, uh, his, he wants a Clippers model BVB hat, that royal blue, red and white bees that we doubled as the Dodger one. I don't know, P-Roll. I, I think, I mean, Who's playing better basketball than Dallas right now? Nobody. Nobody. Yeah. No ba T. Nobody. Look, somebody, where is that question? Somebody's asked me, said, are the Nuggets the only team that scares me? Mavericks scare me. Not gonna lie. I like Luca a lot. Luca and Jason Tatum are both playing with that same question. They're about the same age. Luca's a little older, but they're playing with the same question. Can you be an all-time great? Can you be, you know, can you live up to the potential you have by winning a championship? If you don't, you're a really good player, but you're not you're not a great. You're a good. What is a Calvin and Hobbes hat? Because Nick Tom said if the Lakers win, Dave, wear a Calvin and Hobbes hat. I I wear any hat you tell me to wear. That's I'm guessing fine. it's a hat with Calvin and Hobbes on it. Where do I get one of those? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Nick Tom, Let's, I don't know where to get one of those. Let's can't I, make that. And then it. finally. Bucks, Pacers. Pacers are winning the series, are they not? Oh, oh boy, now you've done it. Pacers are winning the series, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Are they? Right. Pacers are winning the series, right? To pick them series. No, Giannis. I mean, he's. I think he pulled. I think he tore his Achilles. He's not cleared. Like that price tells me he's not playing. Good job, Covey. Bet the Pacers. I agree. Lucas 10 times better than Tatum. I disagree with that. But, whoa, okay. whoa, Akbar, my guy. Hold on here. Disagree with that. Oh, he's 10 times better than Tatum. That's ridiculous, but okay. Although I love Luca. I do too. But um, I love Tatum too. We've got a lot of people from Indiana watch the show live, get in the chat, all this stuff in the Discord. Discord. Want the Pacers to win. Giannis in doubt. Give me the Pacers. Let's go, Pacers. I mean, they're just flowing. And there's a lot of people doing it right now. Um, I don't know if it's that easy. It is for me. They win a series in what six at home? They get to win, they win the home game four two, four two win in six. Mm -hmm. You guys will notice if if the, you take the visiting team with the game at home, at home in game six, their odds to win it in six are lower than their odds to win it in seven because winning a game seven on the road is historically a hard thing to do in the NBA playoffs as well as the NHL playoffs. So. Take a look at that. You may get a better price. You know, if you price it out, you bet them individual games. Pacers being a mush play, I don't think it matters all that much because Doc Rivers is the coach of the Bucks. So I I I don't want to dismiss it, but I really don't know. I have no strong opinion about this series. I need to see it. I think the atmosphere in Indiana is going to be tremendous. And you know, if Things go a certain way. Never been to Indiana to go to a game. May end up going to Indiana to go to a game. Never been. Hmm. Thought it might be a good place to go. Hmm. I haven't been to an NBA playoff game in a while. When's the last time you were to an NBA playoff game? Wow. <sighs> Probably 2011, 2012 Celtics. Wow. Okay. It's been, it's been over a decade. To be, a, to be a playoff game. I've been to numerous regular season games, but I haven't been to an NBA playoff game in a long time. Yeah, we're going on about 19 years for me. Okay. In Phoenix. Went to a couple uh, different playoff games. Can shoot down there, maybe go to a game. 
I don't know. Dave Daily Picks, let you know. Absolutely, I'm letting you know because you're picking me up. Like I'm <laughs> picking up. You're definitely picking me up. All right, let's look at the, the NHL playoff series because we don't have all of them set, but we have a lot of them that, that are set at the moment. Hurricanes, Islanders, it's minus 340 on yeah, the Hurricanes yeah. against the Islanders. Uh, I mean, come on. do man. the Islanders even win a game? Is this going to yes. be just a complete walk in the park? No. No, it's gonna. They're gonna make it interesting, but they're not winning the series. Five games or six. Carolina done. Wrap. See you later. Three forty three. I was okay. That's expensive. Canucks and the Preds. This is an awesome series. Oh, war. This is a war. Yeah. My twenty seven to one ticket. <laughs> these, these, these tickets are going to be. Uh, no. What do I have Vancouver at? I have Winnipeg twenty seven to one. What do I have? Vancouver? No, you have Vancouver at twenty five or twenty seven. You have I, it high. I have twenty seven to top. I have both of them. I have Vancouver and Winnipeg. I've I have tickets on both. I gotta see what 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 each, what each one. I think it's I think Vancouver is twenty seven to one, uh, and then I think Vancouver is similar. It's like twenty five to one somewhere in, in in that range with both those. Preds can win this series, can they not? Absolutely, they can. Yeah, I'm real. I'm 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 very concerned about Nashville's the way they played the second half of the year. Just not in love with their goaltending. They played their way in. They did. And they played a lot of playoff hockey leading into this. A lot of yep. times that's a recipe for success or teams fall flat, can't match that at the beginning, get down in a series and could lose. This series is going six or seven. Our chat that's is weird a, today, Dave. What's that? The chat is very weird today. Why? What, what, what is Chris Brady putting Big Ten Conference winner picks in now? <laughs> it's April. I have no idea. Chris, what are you doing? You heard it here first. Great. It's April 18th. Thank you, Chris. What are you doing, dude? Save it for the summer when we got stuff that we need to talk about. Yeah, we got football talk coming later on. Like, What, what are we doing? the hell? Is, is, it, is that the way to say that like, NHL series prices really makes you bored? Is, is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> like, like something else? Talk about football? Bruins Leafs. We got Cam Stewart coming on tomorrow. Yeah, He wants to have a conversation with me about his team. He thinks his team actually has a fighting chance. I just said the Boston Bruins. Congratulations on making the second round. Man, oh, man. <laughs> so last year, the Bruins lose to the Panthers in the first round. Yep. This year, if Bruins lose to the Leafs, is this worse? I mean, the price is only minus 125. You know that. Sorry. A college roommate of mine just texted and said, I'm at, the, I'm at Paris. Hello. Want to grab a beer tonight? What the? <laughs> college, a college friend of mine said, "Hey, Matt, it's Jared. I'm in town." <laughs> what the? I haven't heard. I haven't seen that number come across my phone in like, I don't know, 25 years. 25 years. I don't know. I graduated college in 1999. That was the last time I saw him. It was 1999. <laughs> Shows all over the place. People, <laughs> sorry, this is great. That's this is funny. weird. People are here. Weird. I don't know. Yeah. I was, that's a weird text message I just got. Huh. Right, anyway, sorry. I, look, the Bruins being. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chef Benny, this Toronto is Toronto make me laughs are done. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's personal, Chef B. <laughs> oh, no. Chevy P. Leafs are like the Titanic. They both sink when they hit the ice. <laughs> I could do this all day. Keep them coming in the chat, boys. This is outstanding. Keep the receipts. Cam's coming uh, on tomorrow. He wants a piece of you. He said it to me last night. Tell Peralt I'm ready for him on Friday. I said, Cam. We'll do Friday on Sports Grid. Me and Matt will be there. We need you on BVB before where you can really let it loose. It's spring. <laughs> is it spring, JC from KC? You're damn right it is. And the leaves fall in the spring. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good line. It makes it, me giggle every time. It's tremendous. It's so good. The leaves fall in the spring. It is the what spring. If, what if yep. the Leafs win one of the two games in Boston? What if? What if? I don't care. What if? <laughs> like, <laughs> is this the matchup that the Bruins wanted? Oh yeah, hundred percent. They tanked for it. I think so. I know. I mean, every. I mean, literally. If you want to talk about, turn on Boston Sports Talk Radio today, and what you're going to hear, the Boston Bruins are a loser team because they tanked to get this better matchup with the team. So they shouldn't. Losers don't do that. Losers don't win. Losers go and try to win games. They don't lose till they get the better matchup with the playoffs. So dumb. <laughs> That's Boston Sports Talk Radio today.
That's that, that's it, what. Yes, they're all mad because of the Bruins. They didn't play well. They played nobody the last two games. They lost two nothing to Washington. Never should have lost to, to Washington. So incredibly dumb to get into a conversation about. You know, did you know that if you lose games at the end of the year, that means you're going to lose to Toronto? Why? I said so. Oh, okay. Like, no. I'm sorry. Is that Sully or Jimmy? That voice that when you when you do that. No, it's oh, Felger. That's what that is. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's a, that's what that is. Okay. It's a it's a Milwaukee guy likes to stir up trouble in, in Boston for no fucking reason. So yeah, that's, that's sorry, Will. Oh, I'm I I'm just getting warmed up. Oh boy, told there you on the phone. Mm. Look out today. <laughs> I'm coming. Oh, froze. This is a good freeze phrase. <laughs> Mikey Awesome's gonna have a field day with the next video. You've given him multiple yeah, it happens opportunities. Yeah, you have what later today? What? No, I said I told you. I said I I am going to bring this today to the air. I told you what I was gonna do. I I know you told me. Now you told everybody else. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. It's there over. we go. <laughs> over the total today for P Rock. Yes. Call me next time. Anyways, back to this. <laughs> Avalanche Jets. Minus 135. <laughs> this is danger zone for the Jets. I'm I'm scared. I'm scared of the Jets. I'm being, I'm being honest. I'm scared. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just, I'll give them the number. <laughs> oh, you could you could text us. You can put up the text number 702-570-8255. You can get a hat that way, or you could text the uh, text number about Matt's cursing today if you'd like. Um, please do. We're enjoying it. This series is going to be great. I think this series is going to be excellent. I don't know who's going to win it. I think legitimately Winnipeg's got the better goaltending. Colorado has McKinnon. They have that home ice. What well, may not matter. This is a long series, and this is a hard series. And I think the winner of this series is worse for the wear and will be a bet against in the next round. Wow. Yep. Really? Yep. This is one of those, this is one of those wars that you're not better for winning. You you I mean, unless you survive and get away unscathed, I think you're gonna have beat up physical injuries. I think you're gonna have all of them. Okay. Yep. All right. Wow. Yep. Yep. So you don't buy Colorado being the odds on to win the West. Oh no, no. That's they should be up to this point. This wasn't the perfect path for them. It was not. This 100%. is 100%. They, they they didn't need this to start out. This is not this is this is a tough matchup for both teams. It's I mean the price is reflective of it. This is a arguably a pick 'em series with Colorado with the home ice. That's the price. There you go. Wow, that's something. Wow, I mean that's gonna be wild. That's gonna be fun. I mean, this series is this is where you have to watch each game. Like you, you gotta watch Colorado. Whatever. Yes, it's gonna be phenomenal. What about Florida Tampa? This is a battle of Florida. Uh, I mean, Lightning played better than I thought they were gonna play this year, but can they turn it up another notch in the postseason against Florida? It feels like the Panthers just are younger and tougher than Tampa. Oh man. Um yeah, I don't want to say, I mean, like, we saw the end of Golden State. It was ugly. I don't think we're going to see the end of Tampa Bay be ugly in this series. They're going to give it to them every step of the way. These two teams don't like each other. Hmm. It's going to be very entertaining. Wait, I have to do a timeout right now, talking about hockey. I want to shout out Susan and all the girls at Hennessy. Hennessy's in Seal Beach. There's a place called Hennessy's in Seal Beach right now that we are on all of the televisions in the joint. Thanks to our Hi. lead recruiter out there in L.A., Anaheim, Orange Geo? County area. Geo to walk. Hello. He's got, he's got Susan, either put it on the controls, just sent me a picture. Lovely joint. We're up on the screen. Send me a couple of those. I want right to see now. those. Send us in DMs, a couple of those pictures. I want to see those. That'd be awesome. Use that in a promo reel. Perfect. It's a perfect picture. 
oh. of you and I on this screen talking. So thank you. Hopefully you've all hit the subscribe button. Let's go. Like button. Pump those like bu buttons up. Hit the thumb. Please. Be, don't be a bum. Hit the thumb. All that other stuff. We need more the, of those. The Red Sox are totally rallying here. It's 5-4. It's 5-4. I, I good. wasn't going to mention it. I this just looked over and saw it. My, my under is dead there. That's too bad. Dead. I, it was it was somewhat concerned. You like Florida or Tampa in that series? Florida. Short or long? But I mean, I mean, I, I faded Tampa during the regular season. I lost by half a point. I mean, like I, I thought they'd be yeah, under, that's right? personal. You don't like Tampa. Not really personal, but it's just I just don't think Tampa's. I think they're long in the tooth. So I just think they're not. Whoa! Another twenty second timeout. Okay. Bonvi just came into the chat. <laughs> so and said, I'm listening to you guys while I'm in the shower, LOL. Do you guys want to pick two? No. One snap, on V. We don't want that picture. Although you look good in that hat, brother. I mean, you could send us that. <laughs> Neck up. I don't need nothing down low. You know what I'm saying? Finish in the shower. Finally, what? <laughs> Finally. He's a finish in the shower. Get out. He can watch the show. He's listening right now. Where'd you go? <laughs> Did you, really, did you really just say finish? He's taking a shower. What is wrong with you today? What are you what doing? Is, what is wrong with me? What's what wrong is with wrong me? with you today? What is wrong? What is wrong? Bonvi just told us he's in the shower. I didn't ask what he's doing. But you say, yes, you did. You told him to finish in the shower. <laughs> Not finish the shower. Finish in the shower is a very different sentence. It's the same thing. No? What are you talking about? What are you talking? You're turning red again. I love when you do this. Get, get it together. Oh Stay God. on the tracks. That is not the same thing. That is it's not awesome. the same. That word in means a lot. <laughs> finish the shower. Finish That's the, the different. Shower. You didn't say that. You said finish in the shower. <laughs> Phrasing He's matters. In the shower, so finish. <laughs> no? I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't know. Oh, what the hell are you talking about? Put up the graphic. Yeah, one more. Don't pee your pants. <laughs> Rangers Capitals. Rangers are massive favorites. Minus 450 over the Capitals. Mm. Do they even win a game? Yes. Ooh, they do. Yes. Game three? Yes. Most likely, yes. Caps are just, I mean, <laughs> you, you gotta you gotta make sure you bury Ovechkin. <laughs> What, Jessica, come on. <laughs> what did I say? What are you talking about right now? Jessica? And your brother's calling you bleeping clueless. I can't actually put it on the screen, but your wife and your brother are both of brother Dan. <laughs> I'm so clueless. What are you talking about nothing. I mean, you know, brother Dan likes to come in the chat and me say I call me clueless. All right, that's fine. I know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, that's too good. I'm glad Jess is watching the show. Jess, I'm glad you're awake. I hope you're enjoying the show. Yeah, hope she's feeling OMG. better. Hope you feel better. All right, so we have one game tonight that matters, okay? Mm -hmm. It's Vegas. It involves the Golden Knights. The scenarios are quite wild here. Holy okay? crap. Okay. What the is Go all this nonsense? So the Golden Knights will clinch the three seed in the Pacific, and they will play Edmonton if they defeat the Ducks in any fashion. Okay. okay? Win the game. If they don't and they lose to the Ducks, if they get one point, meaning they lose the game in overtime or shootout, they get one point. And... The Kings lose to the Blackhawks in any fashion. Golden Knights are the three seed. Or if the Kings lose in regulation to the Blackhawks, meaning they get no points, the Kings will clinch the three seed in the, in the division if they defeat the Blackhawks in any fashion and the Golden Knights lose to the Ducks in any fashion. Or they get one point against the Blackhawks and the Golden Knights lose in regulation to the Ducks, meaning the tie break goes to the LA Kings. If you are the Vegas Golden Knights, who do you want to play? Edmonton or Dallas? Because those are your options at the moment. Oh, no, it matters. This is important. You may be bored by it, but this is important. I, well, sorry, I, you lost me in all of that. What do the Knights need to do? Win, and they play Edmonton. So you think they're going to they're gonna lay it down? They're gonna... it's, why I didn't, it's why I didn't bet it. I didn't bet it because it's possible. They're three and zero against Dallas. So you think they're telling the boys to nope. suit up tonight? No, 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 no. The same way the Bruins lost. They didn't. They didn't. You can lose on purpose. 
different line changes, different shift things around, play the other goaltender. There's ways of doing it. If you want to make it so you're more than likely to lose. Who would you rather play? Dallas or Edmonton? Dallas has been the best team in the West for most of the second half of the year. I mean, you're going to have to beat them both. Who do you want to play first? Well, that was the Lakers line. There you go. Okay. Thank you, Johnny Parlay. JR33312, who I just saw at the game and at the Aviator game a couple days ago. Looks great. He's going back east. He's going to be in Ohio for a little while. Mm -hmm. Um, 3 0 versus the Stars, but they haven't played them since December. That matters. You know it does. It matters. 100%. It matters. When you play I mean, something, I want to play Edmonton. I like Dallas being the number one seed. I like Dallas to advance to the West. You want Conference McDavid? Finals. You want to face McDavid? They beat him last year. Fine, but you want McDavid? No, I get it. This is the Lakers line. Lakers line. Lakers were very upset when anybody asked them about playing the Nuggets. They're like, we got to play who's the best. Like, we want to win. We're going to play them sometime. Got to go through them anyway. Play them now. So if the if the goal is a championship, you're going to have to play Denver. So go play Denver now. If you're the Knights and you want to defend your championship, you want to defend the cup, go play Edmonton. I mean, they catch him. You know, McDavid was a little dinged up, right? Missed game. This your, week. Wife, your wife is just pile driving you right now. <laughs> you just said my wife is pile driving me, yes. and you'd say I'm clueless. He is legit clueless, not an act. Nothing I do is an act. This is part of the deal. This is why. A one, it just happens. Two, things just come out of my you, mouth, and I don't know why. I didn't think I said anything. You were taking strays all day. But uh, just thanks, you guys, for the, the kind words her, uh, during her recovery. That's very cool, you guys. Do that. Okay, so far. Yeah, don't laugh too we, hard. We, 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 need to, we need Jessica to up to like update the avatar, though. It's a, it's a, it, it looks, I don't know what that looks like. It looks like it's something out of like, like it, I know it's a child's face, but. It could be like a like a something in the bottom of the ocean. I believe that's Kendall's face. Yeah, it's too much. It's smushed. We need a we need a better avatar. Mushed. Need to update that. Um. Yeah. Thank you, Nikki. Nikki came in the chat. I can't wait to meet Nikki Ceramella, future associate producer of the show. Dave is fully authentic, and I will defend him. Damn yeah. right, Nikki. Thank you, brother. Okay. So as you I said, think the Knights win. Okay. They're minus four hundred in Vegas Anaheim. <laughs> You're gonna lay it. It's a very uncomfortable lay. It's a, what? It's an industry term. It's an industry term. It's an uncomfortable lay. It's minus 400. It's I'm uncomfortable. Done. I'm done for today. What? I'm done. You got to stop. <laughs> Me. I have to stop. Oh, oh what my did I say? What did you say? It's an uncomfortable lay. When Stop you come saying. to the counter, you go, oh, I want to lay 400. No, I don't. I'm uncomfortable. No. I mean, sometimes the other thing is uncomfortable, too. Thank you, Sonic. Yes, that's a record scratch on the <laughs> moment. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Oh, that's too much. It might be. <laughs> had... Do you want Anaheim? No, I do not. No. Hey. Eh. Oh, that's a tremendous line. It really is. Oh. Use that. Put that in this. Put that in the spice reel. <laughs> in the spice reel. What the spice reel? Sizzle reel. Sometimes it's spice. Sometimes it's sizzle. No, I'm spice having is meetings a, with all spice is a TV people. channel from our kid growing up. That's what spice is. <laughs> you remember that? Remember spice? <laughs> oh, do I remember? <laughs> Just say it. Oh, kids, look up spice. Kids, if you don't know, look it up. Yeah, look up spice. There you go. So, in case they do lose, the Kings are minus three seventy against Chicago. <laughs> so, like, win win is what you're expecting here. So, Kings, if if Vegas wins, mm -hmm. can't do it. Doesn't matter. Get Edmonton. No, Vegas wins. Vegas gets Edmonton. Oh, oh. So Kings get Dallas. Yeah. Well, that's good for the Dallas futures. Fair. I think they handle the Kings. Fair. Agreed. It's a lot closer series. I mean, like, what's the price of Edmonton and Vancouver? It's close. Stone's I mean, coming back, all this other things. Edmonton, like, Vegas? Yeah. Edmonton, Vegas, I think it's probably minus 120. I think Vegas is favored, no? I don't think my 
I don't think my uh, passport's updated. I go up to Edmonton for a game. Yeah. That'd be fun. I did that in 2006. Babies were little. I told you that story. I came home, called Jess on my break, sitting with Barry out at the valet at the Golden Nugget. He goes, we're going to the Stanley Cup. Call your wife. I said, what? He said, come on, we'll go book the flights. Called my wife. I said, listen, got an opportunity to go to game three to Stanley Cup finals in Edmonton. They're playing Carolina Hurricanes. Has to happen. And she's like, you're what? The kids are three and one. You're not what? Barry, talk to her. Barry said, he's going to, we're going to stay at my, my house, my mom's house and everything. We'll get the tickets. You got to let them go. She said, yes. That's why you're involved in a lot of these conversations. When you negotiate, she listens. She don't listen to me no more. Mm. Mm. So, okay. This is, this is one of those conversations we can have because it's April 18th. So you, you made mention this tweet's a little bit old, but Alex brought it back yesterday and started talking about different things. It resurfaced yesterday. I wanted to get, get your take on, on this. This is Alex Monahan, a guy who bets in the space a lot. Mm-hmm. He tweeted this back on the 23rd of January. So over a year ago, but mm-hmm. there are four main strategies for actually making money. Sports betting one mm-hmm. arbitrage two. Mm-hmm. Middle, yes. Three positive EV. Okay. Four promos. Good. Do you agree with any? This is the the only way for actually making money. Not straight betting, not teasing. Actually making money. Do you agree with that? With, with well, those four after promos? after I saw your tweet this morning, I went and read the thread. Okay. And you know he made a case for each point. Well, let's go through them because I, th- I think for people who don't know, I think it's an important thing to explain. To explain. So when we say arbitrage. <laughs> number five. I just looked at the chat. Number five, Raymaker512 said number five is take bets. <laughs> Fair. Amen. Fair. Be the book. Be the book. Fair. So how, do you, how would you describe in like a sentence or two what arbitrage is? Um what you did with the futures like yes. you you take plus 150 on one side and you take plus 170 on the other and you make money no matter the result yes but you arb- arbing 200. is hundred dollars can you arb every day it's hard work man that's right. that's a grinder of a life i mean you want right. to talk about a meat grinder of a life the availability of outs in books is huge you have to know what you're looking for too And you really have to stay ahead of line moves. It may not like you, you had a perfect opportunity yesterday to arbitrage, whatever, Mm -hmm. you know, take away all of your risk Mm -hmm. on Tampa. Didn't like the price. Didn't do it. Passed, waited for a better price. Never got another opportunity to do it. So you have to be, it's, it's a, it's, I mean, it's a painful life. It's a, a setup with screens and, but this is one of the things when we were talking to juice reel that they have a bot that can alert you to arbitrage opportunities. Yeah. But by the time it alerts you, it's probably late. Fair. You got to be very careful with that. Like, or you're watching it. I mean, you could be on the app and it pops and you better right away. Like I, I, it can't be something that like sends you a push notification and you see it five minutes later. And then yeah. you go in there and try to do it. No, you got to be like actively watching the game and actively watching the app in the arbitrage, you know, uh, tab of the app. And then it pops up and you have a chance to arb it if you want to. But I, it takes a lot of time. You got to oh. be, you got to be willing to sit and wait because the numbers move so dramatically. You always want to get the basements. Like if you're like, we talked about before, if you bet under two Oh eight last night, and it was down to 189. Well, you could have bet it at 198, 197, 196. Like it's all the way down. You got to wait all the way down to get to that basement. And you got to be pretty good to know the basement because sometimes you're wrong. Right. What's the lowest number you're going to get? Fire on it and then have that in, that middling opportunity where you well, can arb it. Two. That's the middle. Yeah. So that's that's, that, not, that's, that's not arbing. Well, I'm, saying, arbing. I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. yeah. Pre- on, on both sides. Right. Middling. Right. Middling is doing that. What we talked about is, is, is right. That's having, the difference. That's laying seven in a game and taking thirteen. Yeah, you know, in a football game, that's um, the that's third more point yeah. spread. 
Totally. I think people people get middling. I think people getting arb, you know, just because it's it, it you can you can't lose. Arbitrage is, is losing. You're on plus money on both sides. It doesn't matter who wins. You can't lose. That's why I describe arbing. So you have plus one ten. You have plus two. You know, plus one fifty, and you're you're guaranteed to make money either way. The third one's interesting though, because this is probably my number one thing when it comes to listening to quote unquote sharps talk. Yep. This positive EV. Okay. Positive EV means positive expected value. Yep. I can't explain that in a sentence. Okay. It, it just feels you're on the right side. Change that, that graphic above my oh, head. Oh, sorry. Oops. Um, that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Sorry. Um, change. To me, it's the right side. What is positive EV? It's the right side. Yeah, it's beating the number. Yeah, you know, expected it, value. What you're expected to do, you're expected to win the pro, win that number more often than not. Sixty right. percent of the time, you may lose still, which is always what everyone talks about. Like I had positive EV. Did it win? No. Well, I had positive EV. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Didn't win. There's a couple books. David Allen, Ed Miller wrote. You know, uh, the logic of sports betting. It's that's a right good one. There. Right, um, right, right there. You know, that's <laughs> it's it's hardcore, but yeah. it will help you. There's a couple other, you know, there's obviously there's followers, or people to follow on social media that specialize in this. This is a math guy. Uh, a lot of times. Um, the CLV, as Dave's can, will tell you. Oh, yeah, that wasn't good. You're right, Jimmy Jack. That, 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 they, the positive EV was not positive last season in the NFL. It was bad. Mm -hmm. um, but my argument always back to that, you know, for being in the books for as long as I have is that you have to win. Like you can keep making these bets, but if the opening numbers stink mm -hmm. and you're beating the opening numbers, it's the game has changed a little bit. This positive EV was good when both books and betters were like, it was rare to know what the number is, or it was, there was a lot less shops, opportunity, things like that. The market has written rising tide has risen all boats like people on the other side of the counter are smarter now than they've ever been. There's more new fish in the in the pot, but. It's not an automatic like that, that, that you, you need to have the best number. If you have the best number more often than not that you will win, but it does not guarantee you will win. Mm. True. Got to win. Finally is the one I don't really agree with because we don't have the experience oh. promos. Huh. What do you make of, because promos have changed a lot over the last couple yes. of years, right? Yes. Promos have been different. Promos are different. So like, what's the, listen the promos. I saw this when I was in Curacao back in the late nineties and other books started doing it. We copied it. We did it giving money away and then you know i will never forget the whole town of grand rapids signed up for an account they were using a bonus and that's where i coined the bonus whores yep comment i'm like these guys are literally quick and they ain't customers they're using us and we we stopped the same thing happened after pass for pass they go in the new state they give away all this money i know people that would move temporarily to a new state that opened up Go make twenty five thousand in a month. I'm going to get a place, live there, set up shop, get all the accounts, bet one side, bet the other side, bet one side, bet the other side, using the company's money, and leave with twenty five dimes. It's not a bad way to make money. It's a grind. You said it though. We we're talking to people about promo codes and all this other stuff. That's all gone. They're not yeah. doing that anymore. Mm -mm, they no. caught on. Well, I, I'd be curious. Somebody, I was having this conversation a couple of days ago. I'm curious how you think about this. California, Florida, and Texas. Now, Florida is a little bit of a different wonky world because of what happened with Hard Rock. So let's take Florida out of it for a second. But for Texas and California, this person believes that when they go legal, we will go back to the Ohio and New York level of $3,000 deposit matches because of the level of competition that will happen in the state. Really? 
But I mean, I don't, I'm not saying I agree or disagree with this. Oh. It's just this person was saying that this is where those two states going legal because the competition will be so great in those states for the number of players because they are their own countries. And you essentially could make your entire company just based on Texas and California and the betting that goes on there that we will revert backwards and you will see gigantic and the books won't care because the volume will be so high. They won't care if a sharp is taking them for 25 dimes in a month. They don't give a shit. They're going to have such a, a high level of, of square, you know, whatever play you right. want to talk about public play, right? That it doesn't matter what happens with guys who are going to arm and guys who are going to come in and take money out of the, out of the place. What's Fair the tax rate in either place. 30%. I, my gut tells me California will be 50. If California doesn't copy New York. I'll copy. be stunned. Yeah, I'll be stunned. They're going to be the same. Texas might be a lot lower. Texas could be 25. If Texas is below 30, they will trip over themselves to get in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If California is below 30, this person may be absolutely right because they'll go and they'll eat it at least at the beginning and go, okay, yeah, let's go battle. Let's go give it away. Let's go give it whatever. If the tax rate is high though, operators aren't going to be fooled again, as big as those places are. And as much as gambling is a part of daily life now, mm -hmm. because it's way, it's way different now than it was five years ago, right? We're on year number six of past, but being passed in May, it'll be six years since it passed. The story is a lot different now than it was six years ago. And you're starting to see a lot of things kind of turn. We just had a guy suspended for life yesterday in the NBA. Right. Because of legal betting. gambling. Right. Betting. So I don't know if that's the case. As an operator, we have a lot of questions to ask before we go into either state. I need to know. How long are you keeping a tax rate this? Because you told us one thing in Ohio. Right. You got a friend of the show, Joe Brennan Jr., opened up Prime in Ohio. 10% was a tax rate. They smiled and told him we're raising it to 30. Oh, all right. Well, we're going to New Jersey's next. Well, I'm opening New Jersey. New Jersey's 15. They're talking to New Jersey about making it 30. Can you survive if California is higher than New York? As a book? Yeah. Oh. You have to you have to accept the fact that the margin is so small and that your spend is going to dwarf anything that you're doing because everything caught you saw how much they spent on part 28 and 27 just to, to mess each other 500 up 500 million most expensive campaign ever for nothing for nothing to stop something from happening right <laughs> yeah so so obviously they can't agree on anything mm -mm. You think somebody's going to go, okay, let's But that's, it might be a way of appeasing the tribes in California. Say, look at, we're going to text them 60%. You get 30 of it. We get the other 30. Let it go legal. Wow. It's interesting because I know there's companies, I, I know of two of them that, not that they're banking their entire history or future on California, but if California does go legal with sports betting, it changes the entire industry. Like right. it, the entire landscape is completely and totally different with that number of people being legal in being able to bet. Yes. There's no timetable. It's There's actually companies going, we got to stay alive until California comes. Mm -hmm. I know of one. I know of one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So just trying to stay, staying alive. Just keep breathing. Just right until just, you get to the big boys going legal and then right. everything changes. Right. And then, and then I think you see a shift, um, where a book may go, we can really just lose or break even everywhere else. And let's make it in California. That right. might be enough for some hundred percent. Yes. If the tax rate is not crazy, if it's 65%, <laughs> Look out. It can't be, I mean, it got to be the same as New York. I can't believe 51. 51 is still really high. It it's, is, but it can't be more. I, I don't know how it could be more. It'd be nuts. Uh, 
right? I don't know. A uh, couple, one quick one before better yep. to book it. Caitlin Clark shoe deal with Nike up to ten million dollars. How about this? Darren Darren Ravel was wrong. Can we just all? I mean, we we, we I love Darren, but oh, like, of course, he's got to eat this one. Like he just was wrong on this. Like she wasn't getting the shoe deal while she was playing for Iowa. No, I mean she's the number one. She's the fastest selling jersey in the history of Fanatics after a player been drafted. Every size is sold out at Fanatics. Small, medium, large, gone. Really? Can't, you cannot get a Caitlin Clark jersey at Fanatics on their website. It's completely sold out. Damn, bro. She's crushing it. I mean, she's absolutely crushing it. And everyone's like, she's only making 75000 a year. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? That's Salary is nothing. The incentive deals allow her to play basketball. Yes. Like all she has to do is play basketball now. Where does State stuff Farm play basketball? Fanatics, State Farm, Nike. I mean, she's going, she's going to be on every commercial break in every WNBA game. Like we got sick of Travis Kelsey. Get ready for Caitlin Clark. Right. She's going to be everywhere in every ad. I'm rooting for her. Me too. I'm I'm 100% rooting for it. Did you see that press conference? Greg though? Doyle's a creep. Greg Doyle's been a creep for a very long time. I'm I'm shocked people are just finding out that Greg Doyle's a creep. He's a weird, weird dude. He's been that way for a very long time. Yeah, I I don't know. Like he's a, he, yes, one of the oddest questions in the history of press conferences. Keep throwing the heart at me, and we'll and we'll be fine, bro. What? Like, yeah, I don't know, man. Like. Sorry. I watched it twice because I thought I missed something the first yeah. time and I didn't. I was like, Greg and that I have had so awkward. Yeah. In Greg front and I have of had all plenty those of, people. Yeah. Plenty of run ins. Greg and I have had plenty of on air fights over the years. I've known Greg really? for a very long. Yeah. I've known him for a long time. He, oh. he's, he, he's, a, he's been a very strange college basketball writer who was doing national stuff in college hoops. He's oh. been a strange egg for a long time. When I, when I, I was like, who did that in Indianapolis? And I went and looked and I was like, ah, oh, Greg Doyle. Okay. Yep. Totally par for the course like that's just what he is really awkward wow okay really really awkward he's an awkward 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 dude and so it was not no surprising idea. yeah it was no not a, not a shock at all when it, if i don't know who did that because caitlin's face was like like what what like uh yeah i do that to my family yeah and thanks for making me feel really go. uncomfortable right now like really really uncomfortable that was that was very very strange uh time for a quick better to <laughs> All right, my Red Sox under is dead, right? What's the what's score? I four, two outs in the seventh, uh, bottom of the eighth. Oh, all right. I'm still breathing. Yeah, two outs, bottom of the eighth. All right, maybe we'll get it. Maybe we could get a nine and a half. I'm on nine. I'm on nine and a half. Cubs money line laying 150 with the Cubs against the Marlins today. Talion making his first start for the Cubs. Marlins can't beat anybody. I mean, hold on. Let me click refresh. Oh, it's minus 170. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, minus 180 at a couple places. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's ironic, though, because it's minus 180 at DraftKings, but the take back is plus 150. Whereas at the Superbook, it's minus 170, and the take back is plus 155. Shop around for the best prices if you're going to bet on Miami today. But do, how do you say the Miami guy's name? Is it puke? I said I, I thought it was I thought it was puck, but I don't know. P U K. P U K. Put it phonetically. I have it booked. <laughs> so if you know in the chat, puke. put it in there. Like I, I'm I guess it's like puka, like puka shells. It would be, be my guess. Puk. Yeah, that would be my guess. Puck. Oh, it's puck. Okay. I don't know. JR three three two. Oh, he's a former aviator. Puck, oh, he's yeah. former aviator. Good. There we go. All right. Oh, he's a former aviator. Okay. There you go. Puck. Thank you. Johnny would know. I he's like the Cubs. Been, it. He's been a lot of times. Oh! Red Fox. Hello. <laughs> See? So oh, there we go. Stuff. So, yes, better to book it. Cubs money line. Cubs. Last time. Our last time doing it. Calgary puck line. Even money against San Jose. Just can't help yourself. Last time. If you had bet every game on the puck line for Calgary this season at home, 
What do you think your overall bankroll would stand at right now? Three units up. Down 22 and a half. And you want to lay the puck line today <laughs> in the last week, last game of the season? Just for principle. This is a principle bet. I'm not saying it's a good bet. I'm saying it's a principle bet. I couldn't believe it. I, I went, looked at it. I was like, wait a minute, what? 22 and a half? They're good at home. They're not good at home. They're awful. It's down 22 and a half point, have units on the run on the puck line. You honestly say, like you asking me that, that's the first time that I would even been asked that. Like I haven't done that <laughs> one time all right. season. Of course not. Calgary's been one of those lost teams. Yes. Like, agreed. Just yes. had no interest in betting them. Nope. Betting against them. Fair. They were in that weird window. Yep. Like watching the games live. It was like, eh. I, Why? No. I take that back. I bet on them one time this season. It was Calgary and Edmonton. Battle of Alberta. And I was home by myself. The kids and Jess were bowling Saturday night. And I dove in and took Calgary. So I, I'm 1-0. I remember. I just remembered that. Just a principal play. Last time getting the bet, Good fading luck. the Sharks on the puck line tonight. Even money on that. So go ahead and book it. For you guys who are live on YouTube and Twitter, do not move. You're watching on Sports Grid or listening on SiriusXM. Thank you for being here. We are back coming up on a tomorrow. Tomorrow will be our Roll Call Friday edition of BVB. Big day. Juice Reel Thursdays continues into bonus time next. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, hope Red Sox, come on, hold on to that. Um, there are no super chats as of yet. Uh, what happened? Am I in no trouble? Super chats? No super chats. Am I in Not trouble? One. Did I leave? Three more outs. Oh, Cleveland just needs three more outs. It's five four outs. final. Yeah, it's a five four final. It's, Let's go. But the Red Sox have to hit in the bottom of the ninth. Doesn't matter. Sox offense is horrific. If I, if, if I need to, it, the Red Sox offense is so bad. It's so, so bad. I mean, it's. I don't believe you just said that out loud. Well, it's fine. Go ahead and tie the game, win the game, and we're good. I don't care. Red Sox can, if they win the game, I'm good. I'm on the over win total for the Red Sox, but if I lose the under bet, that's fine. But right. I'm on a, under nine and a half. Favorite thing about today is what? Chat, who wins this game? Red Sox or Guardians? Guardians. Just put it in there right now. You can take your Sox shot. Sox offense can't hit a wet paper bag. Right? Okay. Well, you're winning. 5-4 going to the ninth inning. So, um, wow. Who wins the series? Knicks and Sixers. Is that right? Is that our closest poll ever? 51-49? Yeah, one of. Yep. Good series. Good price. We just got a super chat. Did you see it? Oh, I did not. Hold on. Sorry. Oh, hold we on. just got a super chat. Da, 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 I'm da, you da, there. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, sorry. We, we can do it. <laughs> I was like, am I in bonus time? I was like, I put it on the screen. I forgot, I forgot what time I was in. I was like, can I not do that? It's, it's good, Mikey. Nice job. Thank you, Mikey. Thank Appreciate you, Mikey. that. That's yeah. nice of you to do that. Thank you. We got one super chat today. Good job. So, uh, favorite thing about today is um, last night. So, I go and have this dinner and, and, and I take Mitch's meatballs because I didn't bring <laughs> Mitch's meatballs. Um, I'm, I'm driving, I get, I'm sitting at the table, finishing up. We're going to go home. I'm done. I get a FaceTime. Now, this is an important business meeting, so to say. I don't know if it is or not, but we're all hanging out. And I look down and I see it's a FaceTime. And I go, huh, I know this guy. You guys know him in the chat. Tyler Wyatt. Oh, FaceTime. Oh. So this is the way I communicate with a lot of people nowadays. It's much easier than texting. You could just look at the person, and it's like the Jetsons. I mean, it's a zap, boom, boom, it's talk, done. It's great. It's unbelievable. Right? Talk yep. to the kids like that all the time now. Well, it's I mean, fun. especially because with, with one of your kids on, on the West Coast, or on the East Coast, and you on the West Coast, I mean, I'm doing the same thing. FaceTiming is incredible. It's It's like – it's a mind fuck. It's a, it's amazing. It's like, it's, it's, you're seeing the person talking to the person. They're just not there. Yeah. It's wild. You're getting the full facial reaction, yeah. the tone of voice, the yeah. sound, everything. Agreed. Um, so I answer the FaceTime from Tyler mm. and he goes, cause, and I go home slice. That's how we address each other. Okay. Because cause I call him home slice. He OG goes, reference to the juice did, oh, to, to the BVB brigade chat when yes, you were yes. doing the insults of home slice versus cuz what would you rather be called? Yeah, he has a guy who calls him cuz all the time. 
And I had a guy call me home slice once in the book who was very impatient at the counter. And I repeated home slice 10 times Yep. because I was like, did you just call me home slice, home slice? <laughs> yeah. Home slice. I did. Oh, okay. Do you want the, you want the Phillies today? Home slice. He didn't get it. I called him home slice 10 times. Anyhow, Tyler says, cuz home slice. What's up? Mm -hmm. You just won me a bet. I had to make a bet with this person that I could FaceTime anybody right now that they had to answer. You answered. I picked one person that I could FaceTime. It's like your uh, last call. Is it, is it like, like it's your call? I don't you? know. I'll tell you the rest of the story off the air. Okay. But he goes, you just won me a bet. Cause, and I said, home slice. I'm glad I could do it. I'll call you back when I get out in the car and I can talk. I can't talk right now, but I knew I had to answer that for my home slice, Tyler White. Mm. And I won him a bet. He had one call. I'm out in the West coast. He reached out. We won a bet. It was a significant bet. She didn't believe him. She didn't think that it would answer. It was a big bet. Very nice bet. So bet it or book it. You can text the text line. We won't maybe answer right away. Don't call the text line. Mm -mm. But once we meet, we hang out. You guys know I'm available. So Tyler, call me back. Cuz, home slice. I'm glad I won you the bet. Favorite thing about today. That and an uncomfortable lay. That's that's pretty good. What? You say she and it makes it all the better. Okay. Uh, I, 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 I just saw WV Punch Drunk in the chat, so I'm glad he's here for this because uh, he wrote something yesterday that I hope he doesn't mind that I'm going to read it because it's my favorite thing about today. And it happened last night because it was 1230 at night when I read this thing. So it was today. Ooh. It was this morning when I read this because I was up late last night. And so I could, I was up to like one o'clock last night. So I got it and I read it and I went, I sent it to you. I go, this is my favorite thing about tomorrow for the show. He writes, it's a little lengthy. So give me a second. I said, well, boys, I'm just going to get right to it. The last three weeks have been about the hardest I can ever remember. My girlfriend of nine years got a call that, uh, that some routine blood work for a physical at work came back concerning. We decided to keep this to ourselves until we knew for sure. We were given enough time for the two of us to play internet detective and surmise that if it was what they were saying, uh, if it was what they were worried about, it was good. It was, was not going to be good. After much arguing, she told me to go to the masters as I was already planned. I'd be lying. If I said, I didn't spend a lot of time in that golf paradise, thinking about what I would do if it turned bad for the better part of the last three weeks. The only time I could think about was uh, think about it was the obvious and going to my night shift job and putting my headphones on to listen to the show and not think about those things for a couple of hours. I'm someone who doesn't believe in coincidences. I believe, and every other brigade member who has found the show knows exactly what they're doing, what they, what we were supposed to do. We are all, uh, we all see the show getting bigger and no true brigade member wants anything less than the world for you two guys. So if it's 5,000 or 5 million of us, just remember that when that drop hits and the big poppy, uh, uh, the big poppy drops, that awesome necessary expletive about being in our city, a whole group of people out here in the world have their own rendition for being excited to spend some time with you and Dave. As I'm writing this email, we got word today that the best possible outcome looks likely and a minor, a minor surgery and some short follow-up should get her back to being healthy. So as you guys continue to have meetings with empty suits and potential sponsors who might not, quote, get the show, just show them this email. Or better yet, tell them it's a beacon to attract people together to support each other and know that even if they are carrying a heavy burden, that they aren't doing so alone. And we, and we get to talk about gambling. Love the show. Love the brigade. Sorry for any typos. It's 3.30 in the morning, and it's dark in here. My favorite fucking thing about today. Why are we doing a show? That's very touching. Thank you, WV Punch Rock. I'm very happy that um, you got the good report. And um, listen, man, keep going. Always forward, never straight. I'm glad you took that trip to uh, the Masters. And things are supposed to be that way. 
that's 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 great man that's you know how do we explain that you do you we can't don't. we don't you can't you can't explain any of that no no you can't well that's 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 awesome that's this we had another good call today mm. um trying to make a lot of things happen boys and you guys are the reason why Mm -hmm. You know, we, 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 we told resorts world, we're going to show up and people were going to come and you guys did. And we told circa last year, people were going to come and they did. And you did. And you've formed relationships that we cannot explain. And we don't care mm -hmm. to explain them. Just let the thing organically happen. Mm -hmm. Show up in the chat, talk to people. You know, we've had people wishing people happy birthday, mm -hmm. you know, in here, you know, condolences, this and that. I mean, that's, that's great. That's great, great news. WV Punch Truck. That's awesome. Thank you for that email. Yeah. That is met the, the world. So thank that. you. That's my favorite belt today. That was my got it from this morning. But I'm glad you're here, man. I, I I'm glad you're good. Oh. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you got just to hear that. You showed up a little bit late today. So I'm glad you were able to give to get that in because thank you for sending that. And oh. I, I I'm not gonna lie, I read the last paragraph. So as you guys continue to have meetings with empty suits and potential sponsors who might not quote get the show, just show them this email. <laughs> it's like, that's <laughs> how'd you know? <laughs> Like that's I just keep on reading that going. That's just so good. I know. Like I mean, just so 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 good to have that. So thank oh. you from both of us. Thank you. My favorite thing about today. Roll call Friday tomorrow, boys and girls. Big. Hope to see you guys all here, same place, same time. BVB on a Friday. Roll call Friday tomorrow.